everyone, welcome to Ecocalypse. I hope I said it right, but welcome to Ecocalypse. Ecocalypse. Okay, so we're gonna be discussing a fast progression, especially for beginners who are not really familiar with a lot of things in this game. I'm going to give you guys a crash course wherein you could progress fast, identify which part should you concentrate on. Um, but first, I'll go through the small things that you should focus on. So first and foremost, do not forget this bell. This is actually a reminder of unfinished content that you need to go through before you finish your day. This is a good addition to the game. I really like this because um, if you're not used to a certain routine, you will be needing these reminders that you haven't finished some of them. So take note of this. Also, for the daily tasks, you need to finish this, guys, because this gives you a lot of additional rewards that you get, you know, that you cannot just uh, not do. Okay, so these are your daily rewards. After that, we're going to go here. This one, the first appearance, the f round one is very achievable. I did it in my, I think, my second day. So this is roughly um, progression through a couple of stages wherein you need to finish first and this will unlock. So each of these draws have a group of, um, a group of uh, cases that you can choose from and with them is already an attached SSR. So on your end, you may, might have a different group because you'll be rolling for these and this is what I got. So each selection is one ten pull. Um, the first round or round one, this is already round two. Round one already got mine. So this one, this is what I rolled for. So I have to be contented with what I got. So again, these um, first appearance draws would be a big addition to your team. Um, give you a variety of uh, of cases that you can select from. Aside from the first appearance draw, uh, you also have your seven day check in rewards, in which uh, this girl will really help you a lot. It's going to be Fenrero, so she is part of your early progression. Why you you need to get her on the second day, and why you should um, you know take advantage of. Uh, uh, what she brings to you. I'll explain it later. I'll show you a sample team that you could build on which you can progress further even if you only have one SSR and the others are low rarity cases. Okay, so also this one, day three, Crown of Baal is also very nice to have. This is a free artifact that you can use outright and I will showcase that as well later. Okay, the last one that I'm going to discuss is Steel Ambition. All of these you need to more or less try to reach. I actually started late already. I only have four days left, so I'll probably end up at day six, but I'm still aiming, aiming for uh, this girl, Niz. Hopefully, I could get her for free. Hopefully, I could reach 100 by the time I reach the sixth day. So... <sighs> I'm just crossing my fingers that I could still, you know, complete this. But if you're, you are you came late, um, hopefully you could go through this and probably reach up to wherever you can reach. Okay. So to the serious part of this tutorial, we're going to go to my squad. So first and foremost, I'm going to be doing a basic squad that I used. Um... Let's uh, change her a bit. I just want to maximize the link system. I use the... Uh, where is she? Yori... Meto... Gura. Okay. So this was what I used before. Let's uh, check her. Okay. She's at level 34. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm going to discuss things that you can tweak in your lineup little by little so that you could progress further consistently 
without running into into uh, what do you call this running into obstacles probably you'll, you'll run to some but this will surely more or less keep your your steady pace uh, with this game so first is the link system each uh, case has their own link system as you can see if you use other cases within the same team there are certain buffs and it's big it's 18 percent hp 15 percent attack here and 12 percent here so they're all in the same team as you can see also for sova not that one we'll discuss that later for the link system for sova so gura is here fenriru is here and there are a lot of uh, you know a lot of uh, this girl Sn uh, Nezhana. So Nezhana, you can get her on your free on your first purchase. If you re want to purchase from the game, she's going to be free. You could obtain her from the game, but again, if you just purchase probably a dollar, I don't think that would hurt. You get her and you start out very very nice, um, smooth. Uh, I I I I'm actually like how she helps you together with Fenriru. Um, both of them will play a big part in your beginner progress. Okay, so going back to Sova. So again, everything is here. So again, the, the, the increases actually pile up. So these are buffs that you can't get anywhere except wherein you bring, um, you bring cases that are linked to each other also for eriri as you can see again buffs because you have uh, the other cases that are required in the link in your team uh for for her it's just a small buff it's actually this one and not this one uh but only one buff so it's okay for gura as well that's three and for Nanook, I think it's Nanook. Yes, Nanook, it's going to be three buffs as well. So this is a very good combination of your squad. Um, it's very good for early progress. Um, if you don't have a lot of SSRs, this team really, really, really is good in progressing further. Although... If you find it hard to have one more front line, you definitely need to replace Gura here because she is usually in the back lines. And your front line here that you have is one Nanook, then you have Fenriru, and you have uh, Nezhana. So as you can see here, all of them are in, are in the front. The back line is this one can actually choose to swap out Nanook with somebody who's tankier or with more DPS. But this lineup, you know, uh, is carrying me through. I'm not using Nanook. I'm not using Gura already. Sorry. Um, I, I am replacing Nanook here. Gura is going to be out. I replaced Gura with somebody that could sustain more for the front line. But if you're beginners, if you are a beginner, then this lineup is already good right now as as in so buffs all around you don't really need to have a super lineup with a lot of ssrs so again going back to let's um take for example sneza so the link system is one the other one is going to be the org structure so once you see an org structure and your units share it if you increase their affinity like now six five and seven you can also, there is actually a bonus here. I think it's HP bonuses for them as well. So if you look at um, Fenriru, not this one. Her org structure is different, but she gets the same bonuses. If you, for example, have them at high affinity as well. So affinity, link system. The next is going to be your combat gear. The combat gear... Um, I realized this late, but the combat gear is a big factor also in making your cases very good. So the, the your your combat gear also has rarity. So this is R. So if we go to Nezhana, then you have SR here. So 
they have rarities and there it's actually you you also get set bonuses so as you can see for a set of three you have a specific bonus of attack bonus if you have a four of the same set then you have you can activate the crit bonus for example i'd like to show this one so challenge saber so these are ch all challenge uh sets so as you can see all four bonuses are activated so as you get more higher rarity you can swap these out and it's easy to swap even you can even switch the levels between gears um the game has that so it's not going to be a problem okay so where where do you get these so if you are going to farm you can farm them in the abyssal dive this resets daily and you can also get more gear here in the abyss procurement and the honor and the permanent procurement so you can get the gears there okay so let's move on to let's let's go back to our squad so your passive this one every every case has a passive so make sure that you activate the passive if you activate your augmentation to tier two if you don't activate your augmentation it's actually here in the boost so as you can see augment here this should be at least tier two to activate your passive don't forget that if you don't you know activate this you won't activate the passive for each of your cases okay and the last one is the most basic again going back to boost you have to level up all your um your cases the cap limit is is the limit of your permission or of your accounts levels i'm at 34 so everybody's capped at 34 so every time you go up you actually have to up upgrade all of them okay the next one to make sure that you have you know a stock of is your artifacts so these are my ar artifacts i have five right now there's one that I, I i'm not using but let's go to the squad again and deploy so first and foremost when you start the game you get two then you'll be awarded the third one which is a healing glyph the ankh glyph then the other one the last one the crown of baal you will get this for free in the third day so make sure that this this four slots are filled out because this um is a lot of difference once you progress and also make sure that you you level them up because right now um let's go back to let's go back to the main menu so as you can see in artifacts so they're already at higher level four three and two so also also don't forget to level them up and that's it um again for team building i mentioned earlier try to use this team this team has really helped me a lot progressing as far as i can uh just continue to level them up and if you have other stronger you know ssrs in the future that you'd like to plug in you can actually uh what they call this you can actually swap out not all of them you'll be able to get so try to you know come as close to this lineup if you can and that is it so that is your fast progression so hopefully you have those in the seven day check-in again you'll be getting fenrero so she's the core of that lineup so Hoping that you're progressing fast, guys, and uh, I hope that you're enjoying the game. I'm enjoying the game as well, and uh, I hope to see you in future videos for Echo Calypse. So thank you guys for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.